Good happy Tuesday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to Good Evening New Hampshire. Let's get started. First step, woman spend night trapped in car after rollover in Epping. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR. <laughs> Come in now to huge discounts. Giving you the best deal by far, unique. Up to $11,000 off on all Ford F Series trucks. Brand new Ford F 150 starting at only $27,900, or a new Ford Super Duty starting at only $29,900. How about a new Ford Fusion or Ford Escape? Pick one, only $19,900, or lease one for only $199 per month. Plus, save even more if you qualify for any of these extra Ford factory rebates. Good afternoon, Sean. The fire department telling us that the woman was alert and conscious when they got to her this morning. Now, the car went off the road on Route 27 in Epping near New England Dragway. Well, fire chief says that the car was about 75 feet off the road, just far enough so that the headlights wouldn't pick up any reflection during the night. Now, the fire chief says it appears the woman rolled the car at about 10 o'clock last night, and the car wasn't spotted until the sun came up around 6.30 in the morning. After at least eight hours trapped in the car, the woman was cold, and the chief adds getting her out was challenging. She was trapped inside, and so after we cut her out, they removed her through the roof and on her backboard. She was taken to the hospital. There's no update on her condition, but again, the chief says that she was alert and conscious when they arrived. Reporting live in Epping, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Man accused of DWI after crash involving two pedestrians, police say. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. trucks. Brand new Ford F-150 starting at only $27,900 or a new Ford Super Duty starting at only $29,900. How about a new Ford Fusion or Ford Escape? Pick one, only $19,900 or lease one for only $199 per month. Plus, save even more if you qualify for any of these extra Ford factory rebates. The two victims were hit right behind me in Railroad Square, an area that police say can be busy when businesses close late at night. 26-year-old Philip Cannelly of North Belrica, Massachusetts, is charged with aggravated driving while intoxicated and reckless conduct. Just before 1 o'clock this morning, police say he hit a man and woman. The man is in critical condition at a Boston hospital tonight, and the woman is being treated for serious injuries at a local hospital. Police say Cannelly stayed on scene and a blood sample was taken from him, but they're still waiting for the lab results. We're still looking into it and still speaking to witnesses, but at this time it appears that um, the operator's own reckless driving uh, created the hazardous scene where these individuals end up being hit. The driver posted $25,000 cash or surety bail, and he'll face a judge in a week. Reporting live in Nashua, Mike Cronin, WMUR News. Okay, and there you go on that report. Spirit of Giving, Crossroads House. Let's take a look. Super Duty starting at only $29,900. How about a new Ford Fusion or Ford Escape? Pick one, only $19,900, or lease one for only $199 per month. Plus, save even more if you qualify for any of these extra Ford factory rebates.
right, here's the spirit of giving. It's back on the air again. The holiday season, of course, time to remember those in need. Crossroads House in Portsmouth could use your help this year, and they provide hot meals, a place to stay for families and single men and women out on the seacoast who might otherwise be homeless. And while there's room for about 100 people each night, last year they were over capacity about 87% of the time. We ask for donations. Every resident who stays here gets a gift bag from us with some practical items, new socks and um, underwear, some real practical things that people need, along with gift cards that allow them to select a gift um, that's meaningful for them during the holiday season. And you can head to WMUR.com for some more information about how you can help Crossroads House. Okay, there you go. And there you go for that spirit of giving. Rudy Giuliani emerges as contender for Secretary of State. Let's take a listen to this video from ABC News. There you go on that report. After our buzz, M D L Z S Q and more. Mondell's international shares were down more than two percent in extended trade Tuesday. In Agus note Tuesday said analysts were concerned about its dwindling market share, a weak category growth in the gym business and other business segments. Although its long term rating remains a buy Agus expectations, a ten percent decline in twenty sixteen revenue as a result of foreign exchanges and the spin-off of its coffee business. And there you go on that report. Nancy Pelosi could be in trouble as House Democrats delay vote. Let's take a listen to this video from CNN. Later, President Obama is still talking about bruising lessons learned from the election. There is this mismatch, I think, between frustration and anger. Perhaps the view of the American people was is that uh, just need to shake things up. And shake things up, voters did. Now the Democratic Party is facing a shakeup of its own. As outgoing Senate Democratic leader Harry Reid takes forceful aim at Donald Trump. Well, thanks for everybody for being here. The Democratic rank and file is restless. Today, House Democrats voted to delay the election of its leader, <coughs> a warning shot to Nancy Pelosi that she may face a challenge of her own. She walked into a closed door meeting today, confident of keeping her title as the Democratic leader. Madam Leader, uh, do you expect a challenge to your leadership today? Yeah. Her effort to hold a quick election failed. Challengers now have two weeks to step forward. She walked away quickly, 
saying she doesn't own the stinging Democratic defeat. You know, you got beat pretty badly here, and this speaks of well, leadership. To the, the, presidential race more than, than our race. the Democratic Party is demoralized, decimated, and in disarray. It's seeking new direction at the DNC and beyond. The place to start rebuilding is on Capitol Hill, where young Rust Belt lawmakers say the party must increase its appeal to working class voters. Pennsylvania Congressman Brendan Boyle said his state should not have been such an easy win for Trump. Our party needs to do a much, much better job of reaching out and representing blue collar and working class voters. And for me, this election should be the final wake up call that we get. The Democrats finger pointing is giving way to soul searching and who should be the face of the party. We just got a shellacking last Tuesday. We, we got an unexpected defeat and we've got to uh, recalibrate and decide how we go forward. It's just like death. You know, there are different stages of grief that you go through. Pelosi still enjoys strong support from many fellow Democrats. But Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan is considering mounting a challenge, saying it's time for a new direction. This isn't about in the past election, in my mind. This is about the next election. And what do the leaders look like? What does the message sound like? Um, in order for us to pick up the seats that we need to pick up to get back in the majority. Okay, and there you go on that report. Now let's turn things to the weather. A little live look on radar right now, as you see on radar. We have um, rain showers moving into New Hampshire for tonight. Now let's take a look at your weather on our weather system. Your weather on our weather system, your wind speed peak is 9 miles per hour, average is 4, current is 5, in between, near, south. East. Your temperature is 46 degrees. Humidity is 90, is 89 percent. Dew point is 43 degrees. Your forecast is sun slash rain. And your pressure is 29.74. Your rainfall event is 0 0.38. Now let's take a look at your weather for tonight. And your weather for tonight. Rain, heavy at times this evening. A rumble of thunder possible. Scattered showers overnight. Some fog. Lows in the low to mid 40s. Winds northeast at 2 north. 6 to 16 miles per hour. Now let's take a look at that next 7 day forecast. And here's a look at your next seven-day forecast. And now let's take a look at the traffic. And here's a look at your traffic right now. We're seeing a lot of green roadways, and we have a few yellow areas and a few red areas. Otherwise, your traffic is moving pretty good on your Tuesday evening. And that does it for Good Evening, New Hampshire. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. Good night, everyone. Bye.